Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the only two activities you should be spending time and money on in your business or in your job. kind of a Keith Cunningham-ism, if you will. So he's a guy that I've learned a whole lot from. Uh, and he's written a bunch of great books and has a couple great events. So he's got an event called the Four Day MBA and also another event uh, called How to Buy or Exit Any Business. Now, uh, he tells kind of this famous story where he's got all these different businesses that he owns and he has managers of each business unit and he has check-ins and, and all those things um, with the managers of the business units. Now, uh, on one of the phone calls, one of the businesses wasn't doing so well. So he's talking to the manager, he said, hey, what's going on here? You know, profitability is lower, uh, what's happening? Expenses are kind of out of control. And she said, Keith, that's just the cost of doing business. Don't you understand? This is just the cost of doing business. And he said, I don't think you understand. My businesses don't have costs. <laughs> and she said, Keith, what do you mean your businesses don't have costs? Like, are you crazy? What, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, my businesses don't have costs. And she still didn't understand what he's saying. Uh, he said, look, my businesses don't have costs. They only have investments. So that means all of the things that are below the line, so all of the things that are below revenue only exist for one of two reasons. Number one is to get us new customers. And number two is to make those customers happier. So the question that he posed and the question that I'm gonna to pose to you is uh, what are you spending money on and are those things either getting you new customers or making your customers happier? So you can apply this to how you spend your money and you can literally do a line by line audit of every single expense uh, and ask that question. And if you ask that question, you're probably gonna be able to cut a lot of expenses and prioritize where you're spending your money in a way that's gonna get you new customers and make your customers happier. But it doesn't stop there. So money is one way that you're spending your resources, but another big way that you and everyone on your team is spending your resources is through time. So whether you're an entrepreneur or whether it's all of your employees, how are you spending your time? And I would also argue that there's nothing in your business that you should be doing that's not either gonna help you get new customers or make those customers happier. So one of the things I would encourage you to ask yourself is to track your time over a period of a week uh, and then ask, go through the, that time and say, is this getting new customers or making customers happier. So this is kind of a Peter Drucker quote, if you will. And in his book, The Effective Ex Executive, he talks about how if you do not track your time, then you don't know where it's going. If you don't know where your time's going, then how are you supposed to improve it? So ever since I read that book, I've been a huge fan of tracking my time personally. And we have every single person at Self Publishing School track their time, not so we can micromanage them, but so that we can liberate them to free up that time by seeing where they're spending it. Now, as part of that system, uh, we bucket our time. Now, all those buckets, we've got three buckets. Uh, that are kind of these big overarching buckets. Is it getting us new customers or is it making customers happier? And then we have a leftover bucket, which is everything else, which that if someone, if you're logging time in a leftover bucket, you're really forced to ask yourself, hey, is this something that's useful? <laughs> uh, and is this worth spending time on? So as you take a look at this in your business, remember there's only two activities that you should be spending time or money on things that either get you new customers or make your customers happy. So what I would encourage you to do is to audit your time that you're spending and your money that you're spending and ask those two questions and you're gonna be able to spend your time and money a whole lot more effectively. So as always, comment below this video, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.